Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the frequency function. So what I've got on the screen is two columns, column A and column B. Column A is some test results and column B is the results that I can have. So I can only have a one or a two or a three. So what I want the frequency function to tell me is how many number ones how many number twos and how many number threes have I got? So it's an array function, so it works like this. I'm going to highlight all of my cells that I want the answers in, so just three. And then I'm going to type equals frequency. Now notice that I didn't actually click onto this top part. I just started typing in there. The help comes up when I open the bracket. It's asking me for the data set basically which is this comma and the options that I can have now the words that it uses in here are a bit old-fashioned but basically these are the list this is a list of data the results if you like and these are the options that those results can be one two or three now to activate this function I need to do control shift and enter and then the result drops in now, if I just make that a bit bigger so you can see it, and I'll just um, do that again. So you highlight three cells. They go equals frequency, open the bracket, select the options that can occur, comma, and then put them into the relevant categories. Control, shift, and enter, and then it drops in. Now, if you change the test result, so once you've run this, this is just going to update. If I move that down, these have just recalculated. Now let's do a second example. So in this one, I've got courses and the number of students that attended each of those courses. What I would like to know is what the course loading is. How many number ones do I have? How many times did I do a one to one session, for example? Two people in the course, three people, etc., etc. So again, um, I highlight highlight the data, type equals frequency, open the bracket, select the options that, that can be in this list, comma, and then select the categories that you want them to be put into, finish it off with control, shift and enter, and then you get the different things okay so that's what's called the frequency function again if you change any of these if I go at the moment I've got no one-to-ones if I say this there's two one-to-ones and there's no sixes so if I change some of these to a six it will automatically update so you can see it updated in there so that's just a very quick video on how to use the frequency function which is an array formula and how you can then, once it's run, update the source data and the frequency function will pick up any changes. So hopefully you found that of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.